Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. So today is our Walt Disney World honeymoon haul. Yes. And it's going to be quite a long video. So we... maybe grab a snack, <laughs> grab a drink. We went overboard yeah. as uh, we found out where we've compiled everything together. <laughs> We didn't plan on spending this much and we probably shouldn't have spent this much. <laughs> I think because we were there for nearly three weeks, that was a lot of time. Yeah. And because we, we didn't buy everything right at the end, we like bought stuff as we went along. Uh, and I think by the end, we actually didn't realise how much merch we had bought. And then also we decided to use, because they were sort of urging you to use card instead. Mm -hmm. So I think that just, you know, you feel like, <laughs> yeah, go on then. <laughs> but we have some amazing pieces and we're really excited to share them with you. If any of them are available online, then I'll pop them in the description box because I think some of them might be on like the Disney UK store yeah, or I think maybe a few the of them Shop did go Disney on there. Um, American store. But yeah, we're excited to share. Uh, we're going to try and be quick so that we're not here for too long. <laughs> well, the first thing I think we should mention are these. These! So we haven't included these in the official haul because we got these for free, um, but we actually were given these on our flight because we were the first flight to Orlando after the pandemic. It's which crazy. It's crazy to say. Um, but yeah, they handed out free Disney ears. It was the best flight because were, everyone was just wearing Disney. They were going all out. <laughs> You know, if you were just going to Orlando, wasn't it? Then mm -hmm. they were they were giving out the ears. Were they yeah. giving out other things to like other destinations? Yes, I think New York. They were handing out. Um, oh, like with uh, the Statue, Statue of Liberty, of Liberty yeah. hats, and they had like different themes for each flight. And of course, Orlando has to be Disney. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're official Disney. They're really comfortable, and we love them. And I've yeah. never seen Martin wear a pair of ears before. No, I'm going to see how long I can persevere. <laughs> in this video <laughs> <laughs> okay so shall we start yes so the first thing on our list is this amazing lounge fly it is um, a skiing lounge fly so it's mickey and minnie on their ski holidays this bit actually is like attached but mm. i think it's meant to be like they're swinging on their ski lift oh, is which it? is really cute <laughs> uh, but we got this from world of disney in Disney Springs and Martin actually got this as like an early early Christmas present. Christmas present um so I haven't worn it yet I love you got Pluto on the back there oh Didn't yeah little him. Pluto Christmassy Pluto is he <laughs> he's got hot cocoa with him but I love it I love lounge fly bags um building up a little collection of they things. had a spirit jersey as well uh that sort of matched, matched. with this didn't they that was mm. really nice but yeah I love this so this was $85. Uh, we have all the prices before tax. Yeah, we decided it was going to get a bit complicated because we bought things like together. So mm -hmm. we've decided to do everything before tax. So yeah. you have to bear in mind there's a bit more added on. Yeah, so this was $85 before tax, but I love it. This is one of those so cute. one of those items, I think, that ended up on uh, on the site, the Disney store. Oh, yeah, for, in the sale, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so if it is in the sale, check the description box. Um, but it's just really special. So the next thing that we got is this. And this is from the Vault collection. Mm -hmm. So like, it was all sort of vintage merch. And so it's this thermos and it has different uh, attractions on it. You've got Mickey Mouse, you've got all oh, the Tiki Room, Helmer's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> is that Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse yeah, thing? Yeah, I think so. The castle, the monorail going through the contemporary. Oh, that looks like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, and then that looks, I don't know what that is, Mr. Toad? Yeah. So yeah, you've got a few different things. So the vault collection was sort of meant to be inspired by all the vintage merch that was sold when Disney World first opened. Um, so all the uh, merch has like all the old style rides on it yeah. that were around then. Uh, but this is just super cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yet to use it because everything's been in the bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to use it now. Be good to take on some trips. Yay! Put your tea in it. This, oh, you're hot chalky. Oh, yeah. So this was $19.99 uh, before tax. And we got this from... I can't remember what the shop oh. was called, but it was in Shop Disney. It was in, it was in um, Disney... Disney Springs. Yeah, it was in Disney Springs. It was like as you walked around a bit past World of Disney. Mm, yeah, can't remember the shop's name, uh, but it was where the Vault Collection was. Yeah. 
Oh, so if you've watched the vlogs, you realise that I'm a massive Muppet fan and I went on a bit of a, a Muppet-themed binge in terms of shopping. And uh, one of the items is this fella. Kirby! Happy feet. I got those happy feet. I love Kermit the Frog. And I actually said, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I said, oh, it'd be great to get a Muppet plush. And I didn't see any others at all. And the Muppet um, shop that's like outside of Muppet Vision 3D was closed. So I mm-hmm. thought, oh, we're never going to get one. And then we were on our way out of Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And there were some cast members with Kermit and they were like dancing. I was like, oh no, maybe it's in that shop. So it was one of the shops near the front of uh, Hollywood Studios. And we went in there and they had loads of Kermit the Frogs. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and he was twenty six ninety nine. So next is not actually Disney. This is from Universal. Um, yet to try it on. Yet to try on. I actually don't know if it fits. I hope it does. Um, this is Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure T-shirt. Is that the full name? Let's say. Oh, it says here <laughs> Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Nearly, yeah. I missed out one word. Um, but this was from Universal, and if you have watched the vlogs, you will know that. They were actually really kind because the um, shop had actually closed. I got it from a... It was um, a stall, wasn't it? It was a stall outside of the ride. And it had actually closed for the evening. Um, but the cast member or the universal worker let me uh, buy it, which was really kind. Uh, but I really wanted something to remember the ride by. It is an amazing ride. And <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's so good. And this was $25 from Universal. They had some really good t-shirts, Universal. Yeah. And a lot of um, vintage style. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a word that we're using quite a lot. I think a lot of people are sort of good to that, Going aren't they? more towards the old style. Um, and yeah, so it had uh, some of the older Universal rides on it. And you wish you'd got one, but... Yeah. I'm excited to wear this, though. <laughs> now that I've done the haul, I can wear it. <laughs> so next is another vintage-looking t-shirt. I will point out that on the way home, uh, as we were in the queue... To, to get to the check-in desk. We weighed our cases before we got to the check-in desk and uh, mine was was over. considerably over. So in the in the line, had to uh, take stuff out and put it in help. They were also very kind. Uh, she let us get away with a few extra pounds. Yeah, and that she? told us that we'd, we'd, we'd got too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is another vintage-inspired T-shirt and I actually can't remember where I got this from in the end. Oh, it's from World of Disney. Was it World of Disney? Yeah. But I saw it in quite a few places around the parks. It was $24.99 and it's this yellow T-shirt that says Walt Disney World. And yeah, I really like it. I saw quite a lot of people wearing it. Uh, whilst I was there and yellow is one of my favourite colours so Mm. I thought I would grab that but I haven't worn it yet so I'm excited to wear it (laughs) so next is another piece of clothing I actually got this nearer the end of the trip if you've watched the vlogs yeah I didn't know this existed and then I saw it and I just couldn't stop thinking about it so I had to go back and get it I can't believe they had so much merch linked to it so it is a Yak and Yeti spirit jersey so Yak and Yeti is a restaurant and also a fast food place in Animal Kingdom. And if you've watched the vlogs, you will know how much we love to eat there. I think we ate there three times. Most of the time when we were at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, uh, yeah we love the honey chicken from there. And they had a little stool kind of just around the corner, wasn't it, from the restaurant? Yeah, it's on the way to uh, the River Adventure. And they had this beautiful spirit jersey. I love the colour. And then on the back, it says, Choose Kindness, with like an elephant print. Mm. And then it has Yak and Yeti Orlando at the front. And I just didn't know they did Yak and Yeti merch. <laughs> so You'll get a I was wear so excited. And it was $60. In Epcot, there was a new shop, wasn't there, mm-hmm. called oh, Creations? Yeah. I think it was called. I might be wrong. But um, it had so many good items. And a lot of items were linked to Ratatouille. Yeah. Do you remember that chef's, chef's hat we saw where the, yeah, the Ratatouille, Ratatouille came out? A lot of people out, had that. But I saw this. And so it's a bit like inspired like the cookbook that he, he um, uses. But instead he's on it. And anyone can cook. It's got Remy on it and uh, the Eiffel Tower. And yeah, so it's a notebook. Oh, it's got loads oh, of different pictures, pictures inside, inside as well. I've got that. <laughs> that's oh, great. That's really sweet. So we can add our YouTube ideas or trip ideas or mm-hmm. anything inside there. But I thought that was really good. So that was nineteen ninety nine. 
This item we got with the thermos, didn't yes. we? This was the same the same shop. Mm -hmm. And it's from the Vault Collection, and we're yet to have it out of the, the wrapper. Yeah, I know. We don't actually know how big this is, <laughs> but this is a vintage map, and it's of the park of Magic Kingdom when it first opened. So mm -hmm. it's got a list of all the rides on it, which is great. And what we were thinking of doing is getting a frame for it and then putting it up somewhere in our house. Yeah, <laughs> we're thinking maybe at the top of the stairs or we need like quite a big space for it. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited to get it out and actually have a look. And I think someone put in the comments that they'd quite like a video where we look at the new map. Mm -hmm. And then we compare. compare it with the old map. So pop yeah. in the comments if you would like that. Oh, it is on the thermos 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea because there was a ride oh. on the opening day. I did not know that. So, I yeah. love it though. And it wasn't too expensive. It was $7.99. $7.99, which I thought was quite a good price for Disney. Um, and I think it will look lovely when it's up on the wall. Yeah, we'll have to show you when we frame it. Yeah. So next is another photo album so we had to get a photo album for our honeymoon as you can see it's still in the uh, packaging we haven't filled it yet we did say that we were going to stop buying photo albums because obviously you could just end up with so yeah, many too many and i think we've got three already mm -hmm. but because it was 50th and our honeymoon yeah we had to get it <laughs> we wanted a piece of 50th merch and this is the only 50th merch we actually got mm. um because we wanted to some we wanted something to signify that we had been there uh, for the 50th and we thought this was perfect um so it's like a photo album it has walt and mickey on the back yeah. comes with a pen yep yeah, it's in all of the 50th colors and it was 34.99 and that was from world of disney yeah it's the same as well we used that method it was the you could pay on the phone without mm -hmm. going to the check-in go, yeah. going to the, the register um and yeah it was really simple to order so need to get round to uh, ordering some prints. <laughs> if, they're, if they're doing that, the mobile order, I highly suggest it because we were in and out, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. I was on the hunt for a spirit jersey. I think we both were actually. Mm -hmm. And we looked at loads of different shops. We kept waiting, kept waiting to see if we could find uh, a one that we really, really, really liked and really wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, one that we kept seeing that eventually I thought, yeah, I'm going to get that one. one. It's Stitch. I love the colours of this. I love how different it is uh, and unique. So, yeah. Bit of blue, bit of white. It's got stitch there. It's like a tie dye effect. Uh, established 1971, and then on the back, look at this. He's actually eating <laughs> the Walt Disney <laughs> World, which I love. And um, we bought this. You could get it loads of different places, but uh -huh. uh, we got it from the shop inside um, Polynesian Resort. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just. It was on the upper level, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That was quite an impulse buy. You were like, I need that. <laughs> well, the thing was, it's because we were sat having a having a drink. And then I think I saw it out of the distance and then went in and then I was like, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. This was seventy four ninety nine. We had a bucket list and uh, one of those things we wanted to do on the bucket list at Universal was get a flaming mo, <laughs> And we did. And what you get to do is you get to keep the souvenir cups. Yeah. So you pay for the drink, but then you can also keep these. Yeah. And they had something in the bottom that when obviously when the drink was put in, mm -hmm. uh, it looked like it was it was on fire. Uh, but yeah, that's a cool, cool thing is you get to keep them in. We found a little bit of space in our bags to yeah. bring them back. <laughs> and the drinks themselves were seventeen ninety eight. So yeah. that's what we're saying we bought these for because we had the drink. It was actually really fun. Um, if you haven't watched the vlogs, I'd go back and watch that one. Because um, they do look really cool, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so next is something that we were planning to buy. Um, but we <laughs> got Martin some Mickey shorts. If you've watched the vlogs, you will know why. <laughs> yes, we were eating some Mickey premium bars and uh, started melting and fell off onto my shorts and then I made the mistake of trying to wipe it off my shorts and it smeared and then I went to throw it away and then there was some chocolate on the bench and I sat down on the bench and it was all over my shorts and yeah. I felt embarrassed. So I quickly ran off to, I can't remember what the shop was called, but it was a shop in Hollywood Studios um, as you're heading down towards Tower of Terror. <laughs> and they had lots of really nice kind of like holiday clothes and <laughs> it was these shorts. As you can see, they have been well worn mm, already. Yeah. Um, they have a little Mickey on the back. And yeah, you wouldn't really know they were Disney shorts apart mm. from that little Mickey. Um but they're but really yeah, nice. They save the day. They're really comfy. Uh, but they're also really nice, so at least you can wear them on future trips. Yeah, that was an, <laughs> that was an extra purchase that we didn't we weren't meaning to do. <laughs> 
I think they were quite pricey as well. Somebody's comment was amazing. Uh, it was like, oh, well, when you have children, don't worry, because you're going to be covered in all sorts yeah. of food. <laughs> And they were fifty four ninety nine, so they were quite pricey <laughs> shorts. Um, but I actually couldn't find any that were cheaper at the time, and um, so I thought I'll get some nice ones at least. Then you can wear them again. <laughs> if you watched uh, one of our Christmas videos, uh, we actually showed this as Christmas decoration. It's when we're putting up our tree. Uh, if you could hear a dog barking because there's a dog outside. It's not our dog. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day. <laughs> um, and it's this Christmas decoration that we saw again in Disney Springs. Uh, there was a Christmas shop. I saw this and I was just enamored with it. And Helen was like, you've got to get that because it's Star Wars. I haven't seen it anywhere else. I think it's amazing. And it's like recreating a scene from The Empire Strikes Back, which is one of my favorite films. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luke on the planet Hoff. And he's trying to reach for his lightsaber. And then you got the monster in the background. And uh, it's so such an unusual Christmas yeah. decoration, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I like it. Because, really I mean, cool. it looks snowy, doesn't it? Snowy yeah. and icy. <laughs> and the Christmas decoration was twenty four ninety nine. So next is something that I haven't actually seen around that much. Um, but is this Winnie the Pooh cap. And I love it. I got this from Art of Animation. And I don't think I saw it anywhere else. No, I don't um, think so. I can't remember anyway. Yeah, no. Um, but this is, it's like a cord, corduroy material, um, and then it has Save the Bees and then Little Willy. <laughs> and I just thought it was really cute and really different. Again, it's kind of that vintage style. Mm. And I wore it actually straight away. You I did? think I put it on. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was from Art of Animation. I'm sure they sell them other places. Um, but I spotted it there. It's really good to check out some of the resorts because, yeah, they have stuff that Sometimes, you haven't seen yeah. anywhere else. Right, I'm bowing out. I'm having to take off the ears. It hurt my my head. (laughs) So next is the spirit jersey that I got. And it is this green one. I've worn it loads since being back. And it has this kind of velvety velour um, bit at the bottom. And then it is a Walt Disney World logo at the back. (laughs) And I love it. It's kind of Christmassy. But then you can also get away with it just being normal as well. I think the colour makes it Christmassy. Uh, but it has little Mickeys embossed um, here as well. And I got this from the Art of Animation shop you did, as well. Yeah, yeah. But I did see this around the park quite a lot. Yeah. Um, but I like that they're bringing in these kind of warmer spirit jerseys. Because they're good for Disneyland Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and this was eighty four ninety nine, So it is a little bit more expensive than the stitch. So I don't know if that's because of the fabric. Mm. Apologies. This next thing is very, very creased. <laughs> um, I wore this on the trip uh, as soon as, well, yeah, like day after I bought it, I think, and bought it from, ah, oh, is it called Disney Style or Disney Fashion? Something, or something like, like that in Disney Springs. Disney Springs, continuing the Muppet theme. <laughs> 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 and it's this Muppet t shirt, and I love it because it's got all sorts of different characters on it. You've got Swedish Chef, you've got Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker, you've got Animal, Kermit, Rizzo, Gonzo, Fozzie, and Miss P. <laughs> I was very pleased to say that there was a lot of Muppet stuff yeah, there was, dotted around. There? Um, and then even even to do with the lounge flies. You yeah. remember that Miss Piggy one? That was good. <laughs> <laughs> so this was twenty four ninety five. So next is a universal purchase. And this is the Hogwarts Express Christmas decoration. Uh, we wanted to get a Christmas decoration from both Walt Disney World and yeah. Universal, and it just had to be Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> we chose this one as well because we thought it was quite a sturdy one. They did have a few others that we liked, but we were a bit worried they would get ruined. Yeah, in the suitcase. Um, but this one was sturdy, made it all the way back, and yeah, it's just really cute. <laughs> we actually thought um, they do a similar one at Warner Brothers Studios, and they do, yeah. uh, because we spotted it there. Um, but it's slightly different. That one's more plasticky, and this one is like a bit more robust. Robust. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love this. And this was thirty-one ninety-five dollars. We went to Star Wars: A Galaxy's <laughs> this is my Edge. My favorite purchase. Blown away by the the whole um, environment, um, and they had some amazing stuff in the stores. And there was that that uh, all these shops in like a marketplace, wasn't mm. there? And. Uh, <laughs> This this character, Miss Pog, <laughs> and we saw this Pog, and we then realised that it did this, <laughs> and it's you so can do cute. them together. 
<laughs> and we were a bit like, right, we've got to get him then. Yeah. <laughs> we've named her Petunia Pork. <laughs> and then what was great as well was then we uh, we had some photos taken. Oh, yeah. And it made it a really fun uh, photo shoot in front of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> yeah. That, this was very much an impulse buy, but we loved it. Uh, this was forty nine ninety nine. With each trip that we go on, we just like to shake things up and get a different magic band. Um, And just because I think this trip we wanted to get themed ones, because in the past we've just had ones that are colours. So, I mean, I'll probably just wear this the next time we go. Mm -hmm. Say that now. Um, But it's Muppet Vision 3D. And I did not think they would have this as a magic band. Um, Because the the attraction doesn't get talked about a lot, really, does it? So you've got Kermit, Fuzzy, and Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker, and then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Petunia. Petunia makes a noise after you put them down. For like a few minutes later. <laughs> it always takes me by surprise. Uh, so yeah, I wore that for a lot of the trip. Yeah. I bought it quite, quite soon, didn't I? On. Yeah. Unlike you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this was 29 99 so it took me a while to find a magic band and I actually saw, after I bought this one, I saw one from the Vault collection, which I fell in love with. Mm. And truth be told, I think I might have bought that one instead, but I'm still very happy with this one. And it is the, it's called Expressions of the Child magic <laughs> band. Um, and it just has loads of different um, Grogu uh, baby Yoda pictures all over it yeah. <laughs> um but i just love it it's really cute it kind of signifies that i watched star wars for the first time as well and also the mandalorian mm-hmm. um but yeah i picked this one up from hollywood studios yes and this was the same as the muppets it was 29.99 there's a few items that we actually <laughs> had to buy because you know like the, the the short situation and then another one was that it rained quite a lot yeah. while we were there. It was a mixture of weather. And uh, both of... Well, I, oh, left my, I left my umbrella on Mickey and Minnie oh, Runaway yeah. Railway, but didn't realise till later on. And mine on. broke. And yours broke. So we, yeah. we both ended up having to take a trip to Uniqlo. <laughs> <laughs> At different times as well. <laughs> yeah, to grab their umbrellas. And uh, not it's much been, to say, really. They're really good. It's actually been pretty good. It's quite, like, wind resistant. I mean, it's not perfect. Um, but it is quite wind resistant. Yeah. Take them to Disneyland Paris. Yeah. And the umbrellas before tax were nineteen ninety. So next is something we don't actually have because it was a Christmas present um, for my mum and it was a bell ornament and we got it from the Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom, I think. I think so, yeah. Um, and yeah, we don't have it with us, um, but it was really pretty. It was a, a Christmas ornament and it had Belle. Um, she's in like her... Um, opening outfit mm. um but yeah i can't remember how much it was it was 24.99 we'll see if we can find a find a picture of it somewhere yeah or if it's even on the disney uh store oh yeah uh but yeah it was a, it was a really nice one mm-hmm. so next and i think this is from the same collection as the um bell one there were we were we were really uh struggling to make a decision on which christmas decorations to buy and yeah. we, that's, we ended up buying two, two. because the, the collection was just amazing uh, so this is the Mary Poppins one. So it has Mary and Bert. And what we didn't realise is... He's up to in time. <laughs> he plays music. <laughs> um, but it's just really cute. And we love Mary Poppins, don't we? So we, yeah. just, we thought we had to get it. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what this collection of Disney ornaments... Oh, oh, I can't um, but all of them are just so nice. Yeah, the Winnie the Pooh one, which was so cute. But every one of them I loved. Yeah. <laughs> and then I remember the day after we got home. Oh no, the, the day we got home, yeah. we watched Mary Poppins in the afternoon oh, yeah, we on did. Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> so that was twenty four ninety nine. Uh, so that's the same as the Bell one. I think so. Yeah, a lot of them are the same. Yeah, yeah. same price. Uh, but yeah, we also picked this up from the Christmas shop in um, Magic Kingdom. And then our final purchase yeah. <laughs> is a pop vinyl figure. And I'm very pleased that we managed to get it home without uh, denting the box. Because if, <laughs> if you don't know, I like to keep the pop vinyl 
uh, figures inside their boxes. I'm, <laughs> I'm strange like that. Um, and we've got this one because it's to do with uh, Galaxy's Edge. And it's uh, Hondu Onaka. And this is the character that you see primarily uh, when you go on uh, Smuggler's Run, mm-hmm. which is an amazing ride. Uh, but also, people have told me that this character is also in uh, some of these Star Wars animated uh, series uh-huh. as well. It says that it's land in 2019 Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And then what's unusual is that when you usually get a pop vinyl figure, it has a list of other people, mm. other figures you can get on the back, and it has none. <laughs> yeah, he's just on his own. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to add that to the collection. This was twenty four ninety nine, And we got that from the Hollywood Studios shop. Yes. With all the Star Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. So that is everything we purchased. Um, but we also wanted to show that we got a Happily Ever After pin. Um, so you can pick these up um, from... I think most caches of Where the shop. Each time we got one, I say each time because I misplaced one of them, yeah. uh, we got them from the first shop in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, we just went and we asked the shop assistant, yeah. the cast member behind the till, and they had them. And they can write on them as well if you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, got our, our wedding, honeymoon, happy <laughs> ever after pins, so we'll keep these safe. So that is it. We did it. That's it. We got through everything. Put my ears back on <laughs> to finish. <laughs> Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed having a look at everything that we got. I'll pop any links that I can find in the description box. Not sure how much is kind of exclusive to the parks, mm-hmm. uh, but if I can find anything, then I'll pop it in the description box. If um, you just join us for this video about the haul mm-hmm. uh, and you haven't seen the vlogs, then we've got a full yeah. vlog series, uh, yeah. 33 vlogs in total. 30 f- three vlogs from our honeymoon yeah so you um, check those out yeah so thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one yeah if you've liked this video hit the like button and also subscribe we'll see you soon bye toodle pipski i'll be